On June 19, about six days ago, the president nominated esteemed Liberian lawyer, Councillor Jeniton Massacre, to oversee the office that they will work to establish the War and Economic Crimes Code for Liberia. It is interesting to note that Section 1 of the Executive Order establishing the Office of War and Economic Crimes Code for Liberia states that the Office of War and Economic Crimes Code shall be headed by an Executive Director. Among other things, that Executive Director will oversee the Office. He will also, we will also like to note that the courts are an organ of the judiciary. The Office of War and Economic Crimes Court is an organ of the executive. In pursuit of the establishment of these courts, the office will play no part, that is the Office of the War and Economic Crimes Court, it will play no part in determining who will be prosecuted, whether they will be whether there will be a jury trial or how the cases will be decided. The office will play no part. The executive director will play no part in deciding those substantive matters of law in the actual cases that the courts will handle. Section 2 of the executive order creating the office, which is now headed by the executive director, Councillor Jeniton Massacre, states that the mandate, duration, tenure, and operations of the office shall come to an end and that the office will cease to function upon the full establishment functioning and coming into effect of the Special War Crimes Court for Liberia and the Anti-Corruption Court. So, none of these courts have been established. The office will play no part in the functioning of these courts and would like to clarify on behalf of the government, government because we see a lot of groupings having press conferences and accusing Councillor Jeneto Massacre of playing double standard, conflict of interest and what have you. We state for the record that he will have no part to play when the courts are established. They will not determine who go to jail, who is prosecuted and how the cases are handled. That being said, let me now move to the next point. President Joseph Yuma Boyka has relieved Dr. Julius Savolo Nelson of his duties as president of the University of Liberia. You heard that uh, over the last couple of weeks or days, normal learning activities at the university have come to a halt. We hope Khan will now return to the University of Liberia with the president's latest action to relieve Dr. Nelson of his role as president of the university. The replacement of Dr. Nelson and his entire team has been a key demand of the protesting faculty members. His Excellency, in concert with the Board of Trustees, acted swiftly to ensure that academic activities can resume in the soonest. The government thanked Dr. Nelson for his long years of service to the university and to the country. We now believe it is time for the management team to take over and run the affairs of the university. It is important to state that on the recommendations of the Board of Trustees, the university former president, Dr. A. Hassan Conte, has been appointed as interim president and will lead the interim management team onto a new leadership of the university is constituted hopefully in the next three months. The search committee has three months to recommend to the office of the visitor of the university uh, recommendations for the president of the university. The education of the student cannot wait and we hope that in the next few days regular academic activities at the university will resume. The National Transit Authority is testing buses on the road for road worthiness. And we see 
mixed reaction from members of the public that the government had brought in buses and what a few. We also like to clarify that. We take due note that life is resuming at the National Transit Authority. The NTA on the new management team, new buses are being, are being road tested currently, and we, co we commend the, new, the team headed by Mr. Edward Ford. We have reached out to the team there, and they have informed us that no deal has been consummated with the company on the provision of transport buses for use by the NTA. The two buses that were brought in the country to be tested, to be road tested, are the result of ongoing conversation between NTA and a Brazilian company, Marco Polo. If and when these conversations are consummated, they may, lead, they may lead to a public-private partnership to ensure that our people have adequate assets to quality transportation services and as was the case before the 2018 elections. Just to remind you that the NTA was fully functional and running when the UP-led government left office in 2018. About 27 buses were in service and 39 more were docked at the Freeport of Morovia. In total, the UP government handed 66 functional buses to the then incoming administration during the period. In 2014, only five of these buses were partially active. The new team is now working to resuscitate the NTA. The buses that are currently being tested are part of the good job they are doing. And we are confident that even greater things will happen at the NTA. Lastly, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the President, His Excellency, Ambassador Boaka, over the weekend held coordination dinner with heads of the other two branches of the Liberian government, the legislature and the judiciary, respectively. At the dinner, which took place on Saturday and was attended by heads of the other two branches of government, the president stressed the need for greater, for greater coordination and collaboration among the branches of government. We believe the president, as a wise and elderly statesman, has scored a major goal, a major goal here. The Constitution of Liberia which is a Gandhi law of the land states that the government is one with three separate coordinated branches. Our three branches of the government was coordinated on the affairs of the state. And this is exactly what the president sought to indicate at the dinner. It is our hope that no other branch will see the executive or the other as an adversary but that we will continue to work in consultation or in the interest of the people of Liberia. 